Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking to estimate the rate at which the total personal income was rising in the Richmond-Peterson area in 1999, given all this information. So first, we're going to actually look at how would you calculate the total personal income. So given that we have the population and the annual income, the total income in the area would be the population times the income, right? So if you have 10 people making $5, then that's a total of $50, that sort of a thing. So we're looking at the rate at which it was changing, so that's gonna be the derivative. And the derivative of this product is going to be the population times the derivative of the income plus the income times the derivative of the population. All right, and this is the product rule where we have one times the derivative of the other plus the other times the derivative of the first. And I'm using these um, apostrophes right here in sort of like the f prime sense, right? Because we don't actually have any variables here. And so this is going to be the rate of change of the total personal income. And in this uh, in this problem, we have all the values given. So the population is 961,400 times the rate of change of the income is 1,400 per year, plus the average annual income is 30,593 times the rate of change of the population is 9,200 people per year. And if you plug these values into your calculator, you're going to get to this number. If I can write this a little bit more clearly, um, which is going to come out to 1627415600 dollars um, per year because we're dealing with dollars and the rate of change is per year. So that is going to be your answer. Um, it says explain the meaning of each term in the product rule, and that's what we did right here with this intermediate step. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.